So here we are back in one of America's most underrated sports cities. Good to have you with us from Houston, Texas tonight inside Toyota Center. And this is the site of one of your biggest and, and I know most signature wins of your career against Gus back in 2015. One of the biggest fights of my life was when I beat Alexander Gustafson at UFC 192 when I retained my championship. One of the hardest fights of my entire life. The Toyota Center is a great fighter. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Just misses with the straight left hand. Oh! Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh man, his leg kicks are outstanding and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starting to slow down and cannot take many of those kicks. Real quick leg kick. Oh, looked like he might have been in range but misses with the kick. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Right hand upstairs. Another punch to the head. Two minutes remain in the round. And he landed the right hand there. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. And forth we go. The next with a right. Trying to establish that jab once again. Ooh, what a punch. 60 seconds now to go in the fight. Try to establish that jab. Oh, man, head to land. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Plus right hand is true. Big punch land over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Looking to land the right just out of range. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round. And... At some point, these are going to really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Great punch. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, beautiful kick to the body there, and he just left himself wide open for that strike. Very vulnerable by leaning in, keeping the guard high to allow for an opening down low. Right hand upstairs. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. Oh, nice jab. Oh, nice right hand. Oh, that's a big connection there for McGregor, DC. I mean, big strike landed for Ireland's favorite son, Conor McGregor. 
So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. That's a big strike right there. Oh, big left. Oh, McGregor's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. How good is that right hand? Well, these numbers are unofficial, but they are strong. 43 total strikes have now landed for Conor McGregor. And just 42% accuracy in terms of the land rate against Conor McGregor. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Lee. That's a good knee to the body. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Seconds remain in round two. Nice punch by Connor. Two rounds in the books. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, here we go as our next Ready? round gets underway. His strong leg has so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Effective strike there by Connor. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Oh, nice. Nice. McGregor gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Oh, big head kick land. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bear's watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Head kick is blocked. Just missed with the straight left hand. Effective punch there by Connor. Oh, nice left hand there by Connor McGregor. He's still got it. Yeah, he absolutely has it. He's one of those guys that understands distance management better than most fighters. All right, well, time is the enemy now, DC, and he's really running out of it if he's going to get his hand raised tonight. He's got to move forward. He's got to just throw everything at his opponent to try and find that punch or that kick that's going to end the fight. There is no time for strategy anymore. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Nice punch there by McGregor. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh! Oh, he is up, but man, is he hurting. A finish could come here at any time. Oh, oh, Rosa, no, oh!
punches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. All right, so the fight goes the distance as we await the judges' scorecards, but certainly a dominant striking effort out of that fighter tonight. John, he used his best weapons in order to carry him to a decision, a very clear decision in my opinion. A great performance tonight by this young fighter.